Okay. Um, what if, um, say, a respondent apologizes, um, was a young person, fell into a bad crowd, and um, the, because of the apology, the, um, uh, the investigation is dropped, would the uh, commission disclose any information on that case? Um, Normally speaking, uh, no, because it's still it's still bound by the same privacy considerations uh, um, at all at all levels of the of the uh, complaint process. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the the, uh, the the commission mm -hmm. uh, observes uh, stringently observes the privacy considerations, uh, uh, no matter uh, what what the outcome. Only when complaints. Uh, are referred to tribunal and uh, and um, uh, a hearing is held. Uh, okay. Does the complaint and details become public? Okay. Uh, can you see any circumstances? Are are there any examples where a commission uh, did reveal um, before it went to tribunal? Assuming the parties, both parties, did not consent to the commission doing so. Um, I, I don't. The only time I believe the commission might um, um, consider um, speaking publicly is if uh, all parties were were in agreement. And uh, so, just to be that, clear, that, the was, that was part of, of, of a negotiation. Okay. So, to be clear, but generally speaking, um, uh, it, it would be, uh, I think, a fairly rare circumstance. Okay. Um, what if? Um, an apology was potentially harmful, say a respondent been hanging around with groups that were... Yeah. Would, the cons would the commission be concerned if that apology got out by individuals other than the respondent? Well, uh, y yes, we would be concerned. Oh. We would be concerned in the case of, uh, of any complaint if um, if details of uh, of a settlement, without uh, uh, certainly without agreement uh, of all parties, uh, got got out. Okay. What um, what uh, procedures are um, internal procedures are um, statutes or laws or you know along that line? Does uh, the commission have to prevent against such a breach? Are to handle such a breach were it to happen. Oh, what what would we do if there yeah. was a, if a, a details of a settlement got out? I don't know that off the top of my head. I'd have to look that up. Okay, but uh, are you comfortable enough? Actually, are there such procedures? Yeah, I don't know, uh, Mr. Beer. I'd have to I'd have to I'd have to find out. It, it, uh, it it's not necessarily a, a normal occurrence. Uh, so, yeah, um, I'm not asking what they are. I'm just asking if. There, there are procedures um, to handle um, violations of the Privacy Act from within the Commission or alle allegations of. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. There, there may be. I, I know for a fact that it's, it's you know, based first and foremost, uh, first, first and foremost on um, on the basis of um, uh, of trust and uh, confidentiality. Okay, and. Um, so, so there would be a concern if uh, there was a violation. Well, I think there would be a concern. Uh, the privacy, the the process is, is private. Uh, you know, not not to protect the commission, but to uh, m mostly protect the, the the parties involved. And uh, you know, we we don't we would be concerned uh, uh, certainly about the perception that the. Uh, the, the commission's um, process is um, is uh, flawed in that regard. We 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 are very uh, confident in the in the uh, integrity of our process, and we we would like to keep it that way. Okay. What and, about and if anybody you know if if, uh, if uh, there are uh, occurrences or cases where pri privacy is is breached, uh, we would certainly uh, we would certainly want to know that. Okay. What about the petitioner? Does the privacy or confidentiality of the uh, process protect the petitioner as well? Or, or does not protect, apply, 
yeah, the complainant. You know, it protects it protects uh, the pri privacy of um, both complainant and respondent are are protected. Okay, uh, but I meant, uh, does it apply? Is the complainant um, bound by uh, privacy? Well, it, it, I mean, it, it's more a case of, uh, uh, your question might be better asked, does the commission, um, uh, you know, protect the privacy of, of its, uh, both the complainant and the respondent? And the answer to that is yes. Uh, that, our job is to make sure that the, that the privacy of the parties involved um, is protected. But the co complainant would be allowed to freely discuss anything arising from the... Um, you know, if if, uh, if either party wanted to uh, talk about it, uh, I suppose uh, to, to a certain degree that's up to them. Okay. Um, is there a degree where they're not allowed to talk about it? Well, if, it's, if, if the privacy... Uh, uh, confidentiality or, or privacy considerations are negotiated as part of the settlement, uh, we would expect the parties, uh, as, as in any uh, uh, pact okay. uh, or contract achieved uh, within society, we'd expect them to abide by it. Okay, so if I understand you correctly, there's nothing to stop the um, petitioner or the complainant from speaking openly unless the complainant has agreed to confidentiality within the process. Uh, well, you say petitioner. Uh, do you want to clarify that? I'll change that to complainant. Uh, the complainant... Uh, <laughs> it's Sorry, it's an old canon law term. <laughs> I understand your background in canon law, but I think yeah. it's... Um, I think it's, uh, I mean, anybody can speak freely uh, in a democratic society, but depending... Uh, settlements can vary, and depending on the terms of the settlement, uh, there may be some uh, legal understanding that bounds, binds the uh, parties involved uh, to to privacy. Okay. Those negotiations are aren't necessarily imposed by the commission; they're negotiated between parties. Okay. Now you said anyone can uh, speak freely in a democratic society. Um, does that include Mark Stein? I'm not, I'm not going to, uh, uh, there is a complaint before us uh, that I can't uh, talk about, and uh, so I can't, I can't say, I can't comment on that. Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll, uh, let me know when you can, uh, let me know. Let, hold on a sec, uh, do you want me to, I'll just.